Okay guys, so this is my living room space, just to go on from that bedroom video. As you can see, I've done a little bit of a reuse, so this bench is out here for now, just to add a little bit of an accent. So the whole concept behind this space is to kind of create it into being more of like a communal sitting room sort of style. I didn't want it to be too focused on the TV. Originally I had the sofa on this side here and had these cane chairs over here um, so we could all chat and had the coffee table going the other way. Um, but then to allow more light to come in, I actually opted to move the sofa over here, which of course then made it more practical to watch the TV. But I just wanted to let you know that I'm very into this sort of concept of it being a shared communal space. I think especially with COVID now, like now that it's lifting up here in Melbourne, um, having people over, it's really nice just to have people like sitting on these areas, on the like little floor cushions there and on the sofa, right? just having a really nice little dinner on the coffee table. It's just really lovely. I don't have a dining space in this apartment. So this space really does act as quite a um, universal usage room, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to break that down. So if I go into details about the space, so I have this long TV unit here. So these are four drawers that I got from Ikea. They're from the kids section um, and you can buy a little seat for them as well. They're about $90 Australian. So I opted to get four of them and then I anchored them with these two seating areas. I bought some foam from Spotlight and then some linen fabric and wrapped it around. And then these cushions are all pretty much from um, Pottery Barn. Um, just to really add a bit more interest and a bit more coziness to the space. Um, I know it seems like a lot, um, but I kind of like that transitional sort of collective, eclectic style. So that's why I kind of went with this. I've kind of just accumulated the stuff over time. So don't think that this space just happened in one hit. I've definitely collected things over the last maybe six years. Um, and then with lack of storage and stuff like that, sometimes it's just nice to put things on display um, then try and stuff them in a cupboard, if that makes sense, because like not all the time people will be sitting on those. So consider it being more of a vignette than a practical thing. It's more just like a TV stand. And I'm just kind of showing you how you can get a little bit more creative with, um, the way that you want your TV thing to look. I kind of don't like how awkward it can be if it was just short. So I like the fact that this makes it longer. And I do have those storage units underneath that I can put a lot of my stuff in, which is so important when you live in an apartment. Then we come over down to this little thing here. I love layering the rugs. So I have this, these two rugs are from Freedom. Just layering in that natural sort of jute rug, which are really affordable, like I've said before, with a little bit more of a Persian washed out style to then going to this coffee table here, which is a bit more industrial style. I have had it for maybe six, seven, maybe even longer years. So it was very in when industrial style was in. I'm kind of like not obsessed with the style, but I love the fact that it is timeless and it is quite large. And we do use this space for eating off and all that sort of stuff. So it's good that the fact that it's about 2.2 by a meter long. It was about $700, which Australian dollars as well, by the way, which is pretty reasonable given um, coffee tables are pretty expensive anyway. So then we move over to this little vignette here where I have these retained chairs, which I love. They were only a hundred dollars each from a place called the Ugly Duckling in Richmond. Um, I just loved their streamlined shape. They are more of a day bed. So when you sit in them that you have to kind of relax, you can't really sit up in them, but I love them just for the look of them as accent chairs. And they were super affordable and look super chic. Um, I opted to get this stripe cushion just for a little bit more comfort, um, which also ties back in with this stripe here. And then I also have the stripe there. Um, so tying those cohesive color things in as well. Um, then we come around to here where we have this console unit. Um, this console is actually my original. If you go on Ikea, they have those pine drawers, the six drawer unit. I took the drawers out, cut off the feet and stained it. I'd had the unit for a really long time, like five years. Um, and I was just over it. I was over that kind of style because I'm not so much a Scandi kind of pine wood kind of gal anymore. Um, I'm more into that sort of transitional sort of mood. So opting for this and staining it in the Japanese brown, there's a Japanese black and there's a Japanese brown. I opted to go for the brown in this case, which gave it a really beautiful antique sort of look. I've collected these little decanters, which I think is such a nice thing to collect. It has like a real masculine sort of style, but the curved shape styles that I have here really just like give it that old world feel, you know? Um, I picked up this lamp at Provincial Home Outlet. It's this gorgeous little urn style lamp with that sort of speckly stone texture. Um, and I picked it up for $50 Australia, which is amazing, given that normally they're about a couple of hundred dollars. 
These sconces, again, are a perfect way just to kind of um, create symmetry in the room. I really love them. I have puck lights in them as well. And then we have this ivy here. I actually love, you'll see I have an ivy here. I have another one down here with this little um, skinny lamp moment. Um, and then this is the desk at the back, which I use. This space is kind of like a neglected space at the moment. I'm working on what I'm going to do with it. Um, then we have a lamp here with this little trolley that I got from Pottery Barn. Um, and then, yeah, so the ivies I'm really loving. I'm loving these sort of like Eurocentric inspired plants rather than the token, um, tropical like I've had in the past. I just wanted to try something new. So that's what I opted for. Um, this little side table unit's from West Elm, and then we come down here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else I should explain in comparison to, like, how I went about things. Like, I got these curtains again. These are from Ikea, just to draw the eye up and create privacy for the apartment, because we're on the ground floor. Um, and then, of course, I have this little built-in unit over here, which has a lot of stuff in it. Um, I haven't really fully decided what I'm going to do with the things, but like I said before, it's sort of like little things I've collected over time that I would rather have on display than thrown in a cupboard and never look at. I like to have the options, especially when I'm taking photos and stuff. I like to have things in front of me to see what I want to use. Um, these little flower pots are cyclamen, which are really beautiful, or cyclamen, which are really beautiful things to have for winter if you want a flowering plant that's easy to look after. Um, you can see I've like used the rattan motif like here and then in here, kind of drawing it all together. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the rundown, guys. Um, the sofa itself here is the Farlov sofa from Ikea. It looks like a shabby mess at the moment, but I assure you that it's normally looking a lot better. Um, I just love it for the size and I love that it's quite elegant. It's very similar to like the amber interior sofas that go for a couple of thousands of dollars American and this is only about $900 Australian so it has a beautiful shape you just take off the back cushions and you line it up with these euro cushions and it just gives it a different feel um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any questions do let me know I know I probably missed something because I've recorded this a few times and you know how you kind of like forget but yeah any questions let me know and I'll be sure to let you know what they are and where things are from and yeah, I'll see you next time.